When we talk to parents about the brain, we like to keep it really simple. And so we use Dan Siegel's model. And he uses the hand and says, this part of the hand is the brain stem, the primitive part of the brain that's occupied with survival. That starts to get wired up from before you're born until about the age of two. Then in the middle, you have your emotional brain. That really comes online between the ages of two and 11. And then wrapped around that is the neocortex. That's the higher brain, the thinking brain. And right here in front, in your forehead, that is the part called the prefrontal cortex, which inhibits your impulses. So when you detect a threat, real or otherwise, but your body detects a threat, you literally flip your lid and the part of the brain that's still online is your survival brain. What I find interesting is that trauma impacts our parenting in multiple ways. The most obvious is that a parent will get triggered, activated, when their child reaches the age that they experience trauma. The second way is when we get activated, and I mean our nervous system gets activated, we respond from the primitive part of our brain, the survival part of our brain. So that little three-year-old is suddenly the saber-toothed tiger. And the parent will respond with all of that anger, all of the ferocity, as if it truly were a threat to their survival and not the three-year-old who just spilt the milk.